It worked. They all dashed away to the 7-Eleven. On the way, I saw them fighting and squabbling and trying to push each other into traffic. They were violent little tykes, and I'm afraid that's what they saw in me. The power. The violence. They had no interest in my heart. Deep down, they were terrified of me. I could see it, but never know it, the fear. How to know that which we lacked. Isolated from our genetic code, in some epoch when we were the hunted and had to survive. Could no longer run and had lost all will to live. Down on our collective knees, just praying to the divinity. You see, the violence in us, in me, didn't arise out of a cipher. We bore our collective fangs and turned to face the darkness. The outcome was almost certain death then. We made a pact amongst us in the heart of darkness under the threat of extinction to devote our collective efforts to developing and evolving our source light. And so it went, and the fear was written out of us. The world will get in between us, it will. And who will survive it? The world will make these moments harder to obtain, pushing us all apart, making us write the letters, giving us only voices, leaving us only Kodak frames. Time will take the final blow. Only love will come around the corner and look at me and smile. And I would need to catch that smile or else it would be gone. Shut out for a while as the clouds fulfilled the sky on another rainy day when nothing was expected. Looking for glimpses of the sun, rubbing the fog of my breath off the glass, remembering Kel. Love would show and again disappear, tugging at me like my gap-toothed boy. There in the park, watching me, with my head in my hands trying to sort it all out. Squirrels up on the back of the bench, and I don't even notice. The kids came over, and I averted my eyes, or hung my head deeper between my elbows, hiding. When I finally got to looking up, with all of it sorted out, love would be gone. I was waiting in line for it, too, tapping my foot, fidgeting around, trying to look cool, or at least interesting. Wearing my sunglasses indoors, waiting for my number to be called. All that waiting and love was right there beside me, waiting too. And when I wondered much later why I had not had a chance at it, I would worry myself about it and wonder what was possibly so wrong with me, not even realizing it was right there waiting for me and with me again. Kel, my heart here and gone. God, did I miss her. What had I done? I didn't think. I didn't care about how it all might have hit her. I didn't even stop to help her understand. I just pulled her and pulled her away from the man with the green chains falling off his neck. And so I might even get so lost in a feeling, lost in my thinking, so lost in the doing the weave deeper into a rooted sadness, with all the laughter and sunshine around me, lost in myself, identifying, identifying with sadness which stayed with me when it might have passed by. And now she was the one pulled away. Maybe I was crazy. Maybe I was hopeless, but I needed to find her just the same.